Hello everyone, I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in this book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. So let's get to it. We live in a crazy world where the majority is poor and the minority is rich. Those that remain poor are those that continually complain about their circumstances. Additionally, most but not all of these people drive a nicer car than rich people, have nicer clothes than rich people, live in nicer homes than rich people, and work the same jobs as those that have accumulated their wealth over a long period of time. I have personally found that those who are poor almost want to stay there. As an example, for the entire year of 2021, I focused this channel on wealth building and investing. This was the worst grossing year in terms of income for my channel since its inception about five years ago. Everyone wants to be rich, but nobody wants to learn how to become rich or put in the effort it takes to do so. Can anyone out there tell me that while I had over 200,000 subscribers, these videos only got a five to 10% viewership rate? Investing in real estate is not flashy, it's not sexy, it's not exciting. Videos about Bitcoin and Ethereum and Dogecoin were the ones getting the views. But there is no way to put a catchy title on investing for long term. There is no way to excite people into investing. I also received a comment just last week from someone that went into the stock market and there has been an adjustment in the market recently, which happens all the time. And instead of waiting it out, this person took their money out of the stock market because they lost $100 and say that, said that they would never invest again. Money is emotional. It has a way of entering into the hearts of these many people who are hopeless, and they believe that winning the lottery is the only way they're gonna be able to get out of debt or become rich. This is not true, and sometimes the truth can often be difficult to hear. It is very strange that people that complain of low wages and high prices, but they never accept, accept the fact that the government takes 50% of their income one way or the other. Then the government might throw them some crumbs to make it look like it is not their fault that they are, and that they are helping. Think about it. Seriously, seriously, think about it. The company that you work for pays you a wage, they offer you health insurance, they give you a paycheck on a bi-weekly basis, and they let you work in a safe working environment before you even see the money, the government takes their illegal share that you did not agree to. You then go to the gas station to fill up on gas, and they take their share of that as well. You go to your local restaurant, you just wanna grab a bite to eat, and you wanna go home, you look at your receipt, and what do you see? You see taxes. Your $10 is now $11. Then you go home to your home that is completely paid off, but every year you are required to pay tax for the house that you already bought on land that you already paid for. Your money that was stolen from you is then filtered to places that you not only did not agree to, but is sent to places that are completely against your moral character, personal beliefs, and you have no say in it whatsoever. The government has become far too powerful to fight. They locked us down. They forced us to stop working for over a year. Those that rely on the government through food stamps, social security, disability, and so on, will never raise arms against the ones that feed them. Given that over 50% of the population relies on services to survive, we are screwed. It is okay to be poor, but it is not okay to stay poor. Every single payment or bill that you have, aside from property taxes, can be lived without. You do not need to pay bills if you do not, do not want them. If you don't want a credit card bill, don't get a credit card. If you don't want a student loan, don't get them. <laughs> Work your way through school, pay as you go. If you don't want a car payment, don't have one. Walk until you can save up enough money to buy a car in cash. If you don't want a mortgage, don't have one. I don't care if you have to live in your car for three years, you have the choice to do so and save up your money and pay for a house in cash. Don't like medical insurance bills? Don't have them. You have the choice to take a chance with illness or death, which I do not recommend, but it is still a choice. If you don't care for insurance bills, don't have a car. Ride a bike and work close to your paid off home. Don't like internet bills? 
don't have the internet, use your library. Don't like electric bills, don't have them. Save up your money and buy an off-grid solar system so that you don't have a monthly bill. Can't afford children, don't have them. I don't care what you think your DNA is telling you. If you cannot feed yourself, you cannot feed a child and you should not have anything that you cannot afford no matter what. Others are then forced to pick up the tab for the poor, poor choices that you made. Whatever it is in life that you are paying for, you have a choice and nobody can convince me otherwise. We all make decisions on a daily basis and many times it is the wrong one. If you don't like what I'm saying, well, you have a choice. You can turn off this video and stop watching or you can suck it up, buttercup, and just listen to the truth of my words. If you don't believe in truth, you've got a problem. You do not need to accept being poor. You do not need to pretend that being poor is some sort of noble pursuit because it's not noble at all. If you are sick of being poor, stop being poor. Work two jobs, work three jobs, work 10 jobs until all of your debt is paid off. Rip off the Band-Aid, get it over with, and live a long, prosperous life. Leave the world a better place than when you got here. Leave a legacy to your family and make their lives so much easier than yours so they don't sit on the couch playing video games all day long complaining about how hard the world is out there. There is a reason rich people do not hang out with poor people. Rich people simply cannot stand the constant complaining without any action taking place. Improve your situation, figure it out, think outside the box, use your brain, make more money. I don't care if you are on disability. You are legally allowed to make more money than what disability pays you. I want you to make so much money that your previous disability check seems like pocket change. I want you to make so much money that you no longer qualify for disability because you make too much. I want you to be rich. I want you to realize the peace that financial independent brings after just a couple of years of what most would consider a bad life. Let me put it this way. If you were to go to prison for two years and it meant that when you got out, all of your bills, including your house, were paid off and you were given $50,000, would you go? That is what you can do in as little as two years. If you keep living on as little as you were in prison, almost nothing, then in two more years, you could have another $100,000. In four years, you could have $200,000 and buy another house. You can rent, then rent out that house and make $2,000 a month and never work again in just four years. The choice is completely up to you. Why? Because it's a choice. Everything you do, everything you buy is a choice. So if you are in debt and live paycheck to paycheck, do not come on channels like this telling us what we should be doing with our money. Our money, our choice. The difference between us and you is that we have some. Do what you can with what you've got. What? Pepper Princess out. What? You ain't got nothing. What? What? I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Ah. Uh. Oh, so scary. Oh, where are you going? Why ain't you biting? Why ain't you biting? You gotta bite hard. Oh, you sissy. Oh, you sissy. You big fat sissy. That's a nibble. That's a nibble. I kiss you. There's a paw. There's a paw. What? What? Oh! Ow! Ow! You got my hand. Ow! Ow! Ah. Oh, so scary. What? What? Get you. What? Get you. Ah. You sissy. That's just a nibble. That's just a nibble. What? Oh, oh, gross, gross, gross. You nerd. Oh, such a fierce guard dog you are.